a dynamic vinyasa session. Once you know the sequence of the poses, just keep going with it at your speed. I'm gonna throw two sequences at you today, but we'll focus on the first one and the second one will be an introduction to do a little bit more of next week. A sitting in kneeling pose to start. A. Bringing the back of our hands to our thighs, finding length in our torso, elongating from the tailbone through to the crown of the head. We'll take a few deep breaths in through the nose and we'll sigh it out through the mouth. Noticing the softening of our faces and our shoulders. The softness in our abdomen. And an awareness on the breath, now changing in and out through the nose. Bringing our awareness inwards, doing a body scan from head to toe to notice lightness, energy, and mood. Bringing our awareness back to the breath. And perhaps we take a moment to set an intention for our practice. Knowing that once we get into our flow, we'll be focused on our physical sensations and benefiting from creating headspace and mental clarity. Getting out of our heads and into our bodies. Bringing our awareness back to the space around us. And we'll flow into our cat cow. So coming into all fours, bringing our hands under our chest, our knees under our shins. And gently lifting our gaze, pressing the earth away, lifting our chest. And then rounding at the tailbone, curling our spine, gazing back towards our feet. Inhale, arching the lower back, lifting the chest and gaze. Exhaling, rounding from the spine down through the head. And we repeat, gently warming into our spine. Connecting with our life force. And slowly generating a little bit of heat. Noticing the arching of our back and the opening of our abdomen. Pressing into the shoulder blades as we gaze back, rounding into our spine. On the inhale, we draw our shoulder blades in together towards the spine. Feeling the difference of the sensations of our upper back. Three more. Flowing with our breath and noticing the pauses at the top and the bottom. Now we come back to neutral. Curling our toes under our shins, inhaling. And we'll lift our hips into our first down dog. Pressing the heels towards the earth, feeling the back of the legs 
opening up. Perhaps we shift our weight left to right. Perhaps we pedal, bending our knees, lifting our heels. Whatever we feel will be appropriate for our bodies at this early stage in our practice. Being gentle and honoring the state of our body. We'll come all the way back down to all fours. Walking our hands out into puppy pose, keeping our hips stacked on top of the knees. We sink our chests down to the earth, bringing our chin down, feeling the shoulder blades light up, and perhaps an opening across the chest. Option here to thread the right arm under the left, reaching it outwards, bringing the right ear to the mat. Option to extend the left leg outwards, planting the foot, whatever feels good, coming up down to the right shoulder and ear. Checking in with our physical sensations. Coming back to center, bringing the leg back underneath us, reaching the arms long. And we can do the same thing on the other side, threading the left arm through, left ear comes to the mat, and perhaps we extend our right leg out. Our choice. come back to center just as we came into the pose we come out back to puppy pose for three for two and last big breath we curl ourselves up dragging our hands along the mat back into all fours curling our toes under our shins and we'll step up into our down dog on the exhalation. Option here to pedal out. Perhaps we add a little more dynamic movement to our down dog, adding some lateral flexion, noticing what happens down the side of the body, through the hip, down the side of the leg, and into the feet. Warming ourselves up slowly before we start our vinyasa practice. And coming to center, pressing the heels towards the earth. Coming up on the toes, gazing forward, we step through with our left leg. We're going to start in warrior two, planting the right foot, bringing our arms parallel to the floor, holding here. Keeping our glutes tucked underneath us, our legs and our inner thighs are drawing that together. All torsos, noticing if we can see our toes beyond our front knee. Good, and we shift our weight over to the right leg skater pose, keeping those arms parallel to the floor, sinking over to the right knee. High lunge. Good. Crescent lunge on the right leg. We pivot around. We lift our arms. We come up on the toes of the left foot. Once again, finding length in the torso, reaching high. Good. 
we'll hinge forward into our warrior three, reaching our arms and lifting our legs, finding our pose here. Coming up to standing 90 degree leg, holding here, flexing our left foot. Good, straightening the left leg in front of us. Tall torsos, dynamic tension on the upper body. And we sweep our leg all the way back through standing split, bringing our hands to the earth. Good, left knee comes to the right ankle. We tap down. We hold as possible. And standing split all the way through to crescent lunge. Reaching the arms all the way up, finding our length. And we vinyasa, bringing the hands to the earth. We plank, chaturanga, upward facing or cobra. And we reset in down dog, meeting up here. And we'll repeat the same sequence at the same speed on the opposite leg. Noticing our heads hang heavy between the arms. And we'll lift our right leg off the earth. Gazing forward, coming up on the toes, stepping through, warrior two, bringing our arms parallel to the floor. Right leg is engaged. We can see beyond our knee to the toes, tall torsos. Coming over to the left leg, skater. High lunge, bringing the arms parallel to the floor. Sweeping the arms up, crescent lunge here. Inhale, finding length in the torso, up on the toes of the right foot. Strong lunge, front leg. And we hinge forward, coming into our warrior three, reaching the arms forward, engaging that left leg, bringing the right leg off the floor. Toes are pointed down, hips are square to the mat. Beautiful, coming to standing, right leg comes to 90 degrees, flexing the right foot, tall torso. And we extend our right leg, driving the heel forward, toes are lifted to the sky. The right leg sweeps back, we come into our standing split, hands come to the earth, calm and steady in our movements as possible. And the right knee comes down to the left ankle, we try to hold here, hands to heart center as possible. Beautiful, hands down, standing split back into our crescent lunge, reaching the arms all the way up. Feel the length in the side body and the abdomen. Hands come to the earth, plank, vinyasa, our speed. And we'll all 
we'll meet back up in our down dog. And reset. Coming into child's pose at any time we might need some restorative time. And coming back up when we're ready. We're gonna follow the same sequence a few more times on each leg, speeding it up each time, matching our breath to each pose in the sequence. We're gonna start with our right leg again. Inhale, reaching the right leg all the way up. Gazing forward, stepping through, warrior two. Checking in with our lunge. We can see our toes, our glutes are underneath us, our shoulders are stacked on top of our hips, and we're reaching long. Gazing beyond the fingertips of our right arm. Then we come into our high skater, high lunge, left leg. Arms stay parallel, feeling our upper backs engage. Opening into the right leg, feeling the yumminess in the right thigh. And we sweep the arms to the left, crescent lunge up on the back toes. Good. Coming into warrior three, bringing the arms parallel to the floor, right leg lifts. And now we come to standing right leg to 90 degrees, foot is flexed. Extending the right leg in front, driving the heel out. Sweeping the leg all the way through, standing split, hands come to the earth. Right knee taps to left ankle, hands to heart center as possible. Standing split and crescent lunge, finishing off this sequence. Inhale, reaching the arms up, up on the toes of the back foot. Nice and tall. Hands come to the earth, plank vinyasa, and we meet up in our down dog, challenging ourselves along the way as desired. And we reset in our down dog. Same speed, opposite leg, left leg lifts. Gazing forward, coming up on the toes, right foot, we step through into our warrior two. Bring those arms parallel to the floor. We check in with our hips and our knees, solid and strong, nice and tall. High lunge over to the right leg, shifting all of our weight. Arms remain parallel, chest is lifted through. Sweeping the arms, right side, crescent lunge, up on the toes, left foot. Checking in with our toes, we can see them beyond our right knee. And we hinge into our warrior three, reaching our arms, lifting our left leg off the mat, parallel to the floor, hips are squared, toes are pointing down. Coming to standing, 90 degree left leg. And then we extend that left leg in front. Good, sweeping the left leg all the way back through standing split, hands come to the earth, leg, left leg lifts. Left knee to right ankle, we hold. Hands come back to the earth, standing split into our crescent lunge, reaching the arms tall. Plank vinyasa. Bring those hands to the earth. 
holding in our chaturanga as possible. Upward facing or cobra. And we all meet up in our down dog to reset. Beautiful. We'll speed it up a little bit more. Perhaps we take one breath in each pose and the next round we do one for one. One inhale, one exhale. So let's start with our right leg lifted off the mat. One big breath. Gazing forward, coming on the toes, left foot, stepping through, warrior two. One big breath here. High lunge, skater, left leg, big breath. Sweeping around, left leg, crescent lunge, up on the toes, right foot, big breath. Warrior three, reaching the arms, lifting the back leg. One big breath. Good. Standing 90 degrees, right leg. One big breath. Tall torso, pressing the palms together. Extending the right leg. Sweeping the right leg back, standing split. Hands come to the earth. Right knee to left ankle. Try to lift those hands off the earth. One big breath. Hands to the earth. Standing split crescent lunge. Inhale, big breath. Plank vinyasa. One big breath in each pose. We meet up in our down dog. And we take three big breaths here to reset before we do the other leg. Left leg reaches high. We gaze forward. We come up on the toes of the right foot. We step through. Warrior two. Big breath here. You know where we're going. Gazing over the front fingers. High lunge, right leg, arms are parallel, chest is lifted, gazing forward. Crescent lunge, right leg, reaching up, up on the toes, left foot, big breath. Warrior three, reaching our arms, lifting our left leg, parallel to the floor. One big breath. Standing 90 degrees. Extending that left leg frontwards. We sweep the left leg back, standing split, left leg lifts, head hangs heavy. Left knee to right ankle, seeing if we can't lift those hands, one big breath. Standing split, crescent lunge, one big breath. And we're into our plank vinyasa at our speed, seeing if we can't hold each pose. And we meet up in our down dog. Well done, catching our breath here, resetting. And then we're gonna speed it up, one breath, one movement. Inhale, breath, exhale, movement. Inhale, move, exhale, move. Grabbing a sip of water in between as desired. You know where we're going now. Now we start with our right leg.
Inhale, reaching the right leg up. Coming up on the toes, left foot, exhale, step through, warrior two, inhale. Exhale, over to the left side, skater. Inhale, crescent lunge, left leg up on the toes, right foot. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, the standing 90 degree leg. Exhale, extend. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, right knee, left ankle. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, crescent lunge. Inhale. And exhale, we come into our plank vinyasa. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, upward facing or cobra. Deep breath in and exhale back to our down dog. Press it out. Whoopee. We meet up in our down dog. We go our speed. You know where to catch up. And then we start back on our left leg. Inhale, lifting it high. Gazing forward, coming up on the toes. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms come parallel. Exhale, warrior over to our high lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Pivoting around. Exhale, warrior three. Lifting that back leg. Inhale, standing 90 degrees. Exhale, extend the leg forwards. Inhale, sweeping the left leg. Hands come to the earth, standing split. Exhale, left knee to right ankle. Inhale, standing split. Crescent lunge. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, coming into our plank. Inhale, vinyasa. Deep breath at the top. Exhaling into our down dog. Hmm, yummy. Protecting our lower back along the way with our breath. Ensuring deep breaths to stabilize the core and to calm us from within. Let's do one more in each leg. Inhale, lifting the right leg high. Gazing forward up on the toes, stepping through, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, over to the opposite leg, lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, the standing 90. Exhale, stand the leg. Inhale, sweep through, standing split. Inhale, right knee taps left ankle. Inhale, standing split. Crescent lunge. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, we hinge forward, plank. Inhale, chaturanga. Upward facing or cobra. Big breath in here. And power ourselves into our down dog. Nice. We reset. Catching our breath. Feeling the warmth we're generating, the strength, the resilience, and the mental clarity as we focus on our physical movements and sensations. Inhale, left leg comes up. Gazing forward, stepping up, left leg, warrior two. Over to our high lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Finding our flow. Coming to standing, inhale. Exhale, extend the front leg. Inhale, standing split. Left knee, right ankle. Standing split. Crescent lunge. Inhale, reaching up. And we meet up. They are plank vinyasa, down dog. Beautiful, finding our rhythm, our flow. Inhale. 
ensuring proper pose. We listen to our bodies. Good. We're going to float, stepping or hopping to the top of our mat and come into a chair. Reaching our arms up. Tucking our tailbones underneath us. The abdomen is drawn back. We're off of our hands, yay for that. And bringing our hands to heart center, keeping our hips and our knees forward facing and we shift our weight over to the right. And we're lowering down. We're not hooking our elbow into our thigh. We're holding, we're using our strength here. Keeping the hips and knees forward facing, gentle twist. Floating the left elbow above the right knee. And inhaling. Hands come back to heart center. We rotate over to the left. We lower slightly, keeping that right thigh, arm above the left thigh. We're not making contact yet. We're forcing our legs to engage, building that determination and resilience for three, two, one. Inhaling back to chair, exhaling all the way up into mountain pose, hands to heart center, yay for that. Deep breath in between, yummy. Well done. Catching our breath, congratulating ourselves for making it through that challenging sequence. Giving gratitude to our bodies and celebrating the headspace that we're creating by focusing on our physical movements and sensations. Good. We'll come back to the top of our mat. We'll do one more sequence, but as I said, we'll focus on this one a little bit more next week, grabbing a sip of water as needed. Good. We're going to start the sequence in warrior one, reaching our arms up. So stepping back. Inhale, reaching our arms up, finding grounding of both feet. Strong lunge here, forward facing. Our hips are forward facing. Our back foot is at about a 45 degree angle. We bring our hands to heart center. And we're gonna twist here over the front leg, bringing the left elbow to the front leg, pressing the palms together, pressing up into the shoulders, Elongating the torso, gazing upwards, finding our breath in and out through the nose. We reach our arms all the way back up, warrior one. And we come into our skater over to the left leg, high lunge again, drawing those shoulder blades up and back into the spine. Our chest is parallel to the floor. We're gazing forward. We're lunging into the left leg. Good. Now we're coming into our crescent lunge. Inhale over to the left, reaching up. And then we hinge forward, warrior three, reaching those arms forward, right leg comes off the earth, toes are pointed to the floor. Keeping our hips flat, we can reach our right arm down to the earth. We have the option here to open our left arm, revolved half moon. We can always bring our right leg down. 
We can bend our left knee as needed. Toes are pointed to the floor. Good, plank vinyasa, stepping that right foot back. Plank meets the right foot, chaturanga. Upward facing or cobra. And we all meet back up in our down dog. Beautiful, well done. And we'll do that again on the opposite leg. Left leg lifts off the earth. We gaze forward, we come up on the toes, right foot, stepping through warrior one, reaching the arms all the way up, planting both feet. We hold here, we find our strong lunge. We draw our right thigh into the left, finding a placement for our back foot, nice and solid, strong and firmly planted. Good, high lunge over to the right, skater lunge here, opening the arms. Parallel to the floor, well done, looking good. Yes, I forgot our twist, so we're gonna go back into our warrior one. Inhaling up to our left leg again. Hands come to heart center, my mistake. And we rotate and hinge, right elbow comes to left thigh. Pressing the palms together, lifting and extending the torso long. Gazing up over the left elbow. Good, warrior one, reaching those arms up. And over to the right, high lunge. Yes, we're here. <laughs> Beautiful, crescent lunge, pivoting. Up on the toes, back foot, reaching our arms tall. Lunging into the right knee. And then we warrior three, lifting that left leg off the earth, reaching our arms parallel to the floor. Good, bringing our left hand to the earth, bending our right knee as much as possible. Option here. If we can keep our hips square to the mat, we can open our right arm. Toes are driving towards the earth. Hips are square. Good, and we bring both hands to the earth. Plank, vinyasa, well done. And we meet up in our down dog. Beautiful. Well done. Pedal that out. Pressing the heels towards the mat, letting our heads hang heavy. Lifting our right leg off the earth. And we bring our right knee into our chest to plank. Inhaling, exhaling, extending the right leg back, exhaling, three-legged down dog. Inhale, plank, right knee to chest. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, plank, knee to chest. Pressing into the shoulder blades. Exhaling back, pressing through the left foot. Inhale, forward. Finding our flow. Exhale, extend. Feeling space being created in the back of our left leg. Strength in our upper body. And mental space in our minds. Feel the upper back engage. For three. Two more. And last one with purpose and determination. 
and we lower the right leg. We come into child's pose, resetting here, sinking the hips back, arms extend long. Perhaps we shake that out, shifting the weight. We wiggle out our fists and our hands, our fingers. Perhaps we need to dry some sweat or get some water. Gentle reset here. And we come up into all fours and then into down dog. We'll do the same plank on the left side. Lifting our left leg off the earth. Pressing all the weight into the right leg, down the right heel and ankle. Inhale, bringing the left knee into our chest. We float into our plank. Pressing into our shoulder blades. Inhaling. Exhaling, we extend back into our three-legged down dog. Inhale the plank. Feeling our upper back engage. Exhale, we press back. Finding our flow with our rhythm of breath. Perhaps we're enjoying the pauses at the top and the bottom. Those moments of stillness, of peace and calm. Stability and strength. Feeling our palm strength as we float through, up on the toes of the right foot, and then pressing through the heel. Three more. Noticing our form, noticing our strength and our breath. Last one. We lower our left leg to the earth and we come down into child's pose, bringing our knees underneath, walking our hands out, sinking our hips back. Yummy. Rinsing out the wrists, shifting our weight if it feels good on the lower back and the hips. We're going to bring our feet across one another, crossing the ankles. We float back onto our butts. We bring our legs forward and we're going to lower down, finishing off with the classic ab set. You know me. Lowering ourselves down one vertebrae at a time, using the abdomen to lower ourselves down, shoulders and head. We bring our legs to 90 degrees, feet are firmly planted. Letting our lower back just take a breath and reset to assume its natural curvature. Catching our breath here, resetting. With smiles on our faces, celebrating what we've managed to do here on the mat. Celebrating having got to the mat today. And we're going to lift our legs off the mat, flexing the feet, driving them over the hips. We'll do our scissor legs with the option of arm chops, reaching our arms above our heads on the inhale, scissoring and chopping on the exhales. Perhaps we hold for a chop and a chop, then we switch, chop, chop, with our breath. Modifying as needed to suit us as we continue to engage the core, firing it up, 
bulletproofing our lower backs, keeping the feet flexed as possible. Chomp, inhale, chomp, switch. You know the drill. Bringing the head and shoulders to the earth on the inhale as we chop forward on the exhale. Feeling this in our abdomen, changing up our patterns, building new strength. Let's do one more on each leg. Hold those legs in the scissor as long as possible. And we release, extending the arms and legs long on the mat, arching the lower back, opening the abdomen, breathing deeply through the abdomen into the lower back and out. Two more big breaths like that. Yeah, resetting, allowing the lower back to release, bring the hands to our abdomen or our hips. Deep breaths in. And we'll do some very gentle but purposeful yogi bicycles. Again, drawing the feet back into the glutes. The hands come to our head. We lift our head and shoulders off the mat. We bring our legs to 90. Now we're gonna extend on the exhale. Inhale, we come back to center. Extend one leg. Inhale, come back to center. Inhale, center. Exhale, extend and twist. Keeping those legs lifted above the earth, coming back to 90 degrees. Our ability, trying to reach the elbow and the shoulder across the body. Feeling this in the abdomen, knowing we won't be here forever. We can do this. We know we can. Mind over matter. Moving with our breath. Smiles on our faces. Two more each side. Keeping our lower back planted on the earth. Inhale, center. And we release, arching the lower back, reaching our arms and legs long. Deep breaths into the abdomen and out the other side. Ah, one more big breath. And we reset, lowering the back, the spine, the hands can come back down to our hips or our abdomen. And a gentle twist with our legs, bringing the feet back towards our glutes. Right leg crosses over left. We walk the left foot out to the outer edge of the mat. We lower to the right. Gentle twist here, feeling what happens in the lower back, down through the IT band into the knee. And we breathe into any areas of discomfort. Spending a moment nourishing and melting away blocked energy that we might be holding. Calm expressions on our faces with a softness in the forehead, the cheeks, and the jaw. And on the next inhale, we'll stack the knees back up, untwisting. And then the left leg can come over the right, walking the foot to the outer edge of the mat, and then lowering the knees to the left. Checking in with the intensity that we can tolerate without shifting our breath. Calm and steady is where we want to be. And keeping our awareness on the physical sensations. Nourishing those areas of discomfort or tightness or heaviness. Next 
inhale, we stack the knees back up and we untwist, we hug the knees into our chest and our abdomen. Perhaps we rock side to side or we find stillness depending on what our lower back and hips tell us. We can wiggle out our feet, we can hug in with our head and shoulders lifted, whatever feels good. Final micro movements here before we come into our final resting pose, allowing for the practice to imprint on our bodies. Releasing when we're ready, lowering the legs, our shoulders and head, allowing our lower back to settle in, our legs to open gently, Feeling the contact that our body makes on the earth below, the support of the earth underneath us. And now coming inwards from toes to head, checking in with the energy and the mood, lightness and heaviness all the way up through the legs, into the knees, the thighs, the hamstrings, the glutes, the hips, the abdomen, all the way through the chest, lungs, upper back, shoulders, down the arms, into the throat, to the neck, and up into the face, to the top of the head and around the back. Taking a moment to reflect on any intention we may have set at the beginning of practice. And perhaps setting a new one for the hours and days ahead. Curling ourselves up into little balls and rolling over to the side. Coming up into easy seated pose, hands come to heart center. And we finish our practice with gratitude, giving thanks for our bodies, the hard work we've done here, thanks to the strength and resilience of our body and the determination of our mind. We give thanks for Staying with it, sweating it out, building strength and stability. Giving thanks for something somebody may have done or said in the past few days that made us feel supported or loved. Filling our hearts with that gratitude and joy. and giving thanks for this community. Always happy to be together, reunite, and continue to build and practice together. Thank you for allowing me to continue on your journey. Namaste.